It's been years since the Queen traveled abroad in an official capacity, particularly given the restrictions imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic. But this week, the heir apparent was joined by Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall on a tour of the Middle East, spending four days in Jordan and Egypt. Promoting the trip, the royal family's official Twitter account posted, This week, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall have been in Jordan and Egypt for their autumn tour, meeting communities and visiting a range of local organizations and cultural sites. Concerns over the health of the longest reigning monarch, 95, have grown over recent weeks and were addressed by her son on Wednesday. Speaking from Jordan, Prince Charles commented that the Queen is all right, thank you very much. He told Sky News royal correspondent Rhiannon Mills, once you get to 95, it's not quite as easy as it used to be. The oldest heir apparent in British history explained, it's bad enough at 73. Her Majesty cancelled trips to various parts of the UK in the last month, most recently to Scotland for the COP26 climate change conference. A statement from Buckingham Palace said the Queen had regretfully decided not to attend the summit. A late-minute cancellation preceded the trip to Glasgow, as the Queen did not travel as planned to Northern Ireland to mark the centenary of its creation. She reluctantly accepted medical advice to rest for the next few days, according to a statement from Buckingham Palace. However, although senior royals have been steadily taking on further duties from the monarch's shoulders in recent weeks, the royal family have been keen to show the Queen still performing her duties. She appeared virtually on Thursday to speak with Vietnam's ambassador, after holding a face-to-face -face meeting with the outgoing Chief of Defense, General Sir Nick Carter, on Wednesday. On Thursday, the royal family's official Twitter account posted, Today the Queen held a virtual audience with His Excellency Mr. Nguyen Hoang Long, ambassador from Vietnam. There are more than 170 ambassadors and high commissions based in London. Each have an audience of the Queen after taking up their role. Her Majesty did not attend the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph after injuring her back just before the event. A statement from Buckingham Palace said that the Queen was disappointed to miss the service, but, having sprained her back, she has decided this morning with great regret that she will not be able to attend today's Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph. The palace had previously described Her Majesty's firm intention to attend after missing a slew of public engagements since the latter half of October. At the service on Sunday, an emotional Prince Charles laid a wreath at the Cenotaph on his mother's behalf, leading the royal family's tribute to those killed in warfare. He was flanked by the Duke of Cambridge, the Princess Royal and Prince Edward, also paying their respects.